Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So it is Saturday today and I thought I would vlog today because I have a bit of a kind of sorting out, organizing kind of day and I always enjoy watching those kind of videos. It always motivates me to do the same. But before I get into that, I have a free people haul to show you. So I got a few things that I wanna show you. If you guys don't know what free people are, I mean, where have you been? <laughs> because they are one of my favorite brands. They just have the most beautiful pieces that are really quite different to anything else that I think you can get out there. They're also amazing quality. And yeah, I just absolutely love them. You will have seen them across my Instagram and YouTube before. Their dresses are just stunning, but they also do really, really amazing other pieces as well from like loungewear, tops, bottoms, jumpsuits, all that kind of thing too. So I have a couple bits to show you from them. So I'm gonna get straight into that now and then I will come back and chat to you. Okay, so first up we have this gorgeous like really stunning bohemian style dress which i feel like free people are just known for they're so so good at it i actually saw someone in london wearing this dress and i could just tell straight away it was a free people dress and i went onto the site and found it and she looked so so cool so i've styled it like kind of how she was wearing it so i've actually styled it with a pair of trainers so these are some vasures but let's talk about the dress so it's got this lovely neckline it's kind of like a soft v so it's not like really really structured but it's got like a soft feet to it so i'm not wearing a bra uh, because it's quite low so that's just something to bear in mind you might want to have like a stick on bra or something like that but i personally don't really like wearing a bra anyway so it works for me and then it has this gorgeous kind of like diamond shape here with the embroidery in the beige which i think just adds a nice little level of interest and it also really cinches your waist in and there's actually a tie at the back that cinches your waist in too. And then the sleeves are kind of like balloon sleeves and they have this lovely crochet detailing on them as well as the uh, light brown stitching, which obviously matches nicely with this. And then the stitching goes down and so does the crochet into this beautiful skirt. It just sits and flows so, so nicely. And it has pockets as well, which is such a win. I mean, dresses with pockets are just the best thing ever. Sits and flows so nicely. It sits really nicely, like just above my ankles and it's kind of like a curved hem. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a curved hem, which means it's gonna like flow really nicely when you walk. And honestly, I mean, I can't get enough of this dress. This is such a gorgeous summer's day dress, but then also I do think you can transition that into autumn winter as well. As you, as you can see, wearing it with a pair of trainers. I also think you could style this up with a pair of black boots and a big biker jacket. I love that look. I think it's really, really cool. But yeah, I mean, this is such a stunning dress. This would also be such a good occasion wear dress. So maybe like for a christening or something like that, or I don't know, just a really nice event. But yeah, I mean, I love it. I just think this neckline is so flattering. I think the waist is really, really flattering. And as I said, paired with trainers, I think it looks really, really cool for, you know, those autumn days that, you know, they're actually still quite warm, but you want to be a little bit more covered up then I think this could be a really good option. Free people have so many good dresses. I'm gonna show you a few in the rest of this video, but yeah, I am very, very happy with this. So next up, we have this beautiful dress, and this dress would be such a good occasion wear piece. I actually always go to free people when I've got an occasion coming up, because as I said, they make the most beautiful dresses that are really quite different, which I really, really like. Like you can't really find anything like it on the high street, so I love that. Also, I forgot to mention, I will link everything in the description box below alongside my size and everything so you know how things fit. But this dress is just so nice. So I'll go in a little bit closer so you can see the pattern. So it's this gorgeous like ditzy print chiffon floral. So I love the little pops of blues and greens and I just think it's so, so pretty. Although the dress itself is quite bright so you could definitely wear it in the spring summer, I also think the reds and the yellows and the oranges are a really nice kind of like move into the autumnal colors as well. So I think this would be so nice at an autumn wedding. Um, so yeah, it has a little slip underneath so it's not see-through, which is brilliant. It's so comfy. I can't tell you how comfortable it is. It feels so nice and lightweight and breathable. I love the little tears at the bottom. I just think that moves so, so nicely. The quality of this is just incredible. I mean, all free people is always really, really good quality, but yeah, I love this. I love the little elasticated sleeves that they have the little frill there. I know my mum is going to love this dress, but I also think you could definitely wear this sort of more casual if you paired it with a pair of trainers or some boots again, and you could pop a little black belt in at the waist and that would look really, really nice just to make it a little bit more autumnal. But I wanted to show you it dressed up because I know there are a lot of people looking for wedding guest ideas and you know graduation ideas and stuff like that. 
that so I think this would be a really really special dress for something like that if you wanted to make the outfit a little bit warmer you could pop a white blazer over your shoulders to match well it can be any color blazer actually but I've gone for white because I think it's quite neutral obviously where the dress is quite colorful and also because it matches the shoes but yeah I think that would be a really nice way of adding a little bit of warmth to the outfit as well so this next dress is such a good one for the transitional weather. It is a black t-shirt style dress, but it has these really, really nice cutouts at the side there. I'm gonna go in a little bit closer so you can see. So they're like elasticated, so they're really, really comfy. And I think cutouts here are really, really flattering. So yeah, and then it has like more of like an oversized style t-shirt sleeve, and then it just goes into a little mini dress. And I've paired it with some black boots, and I'm gonna pop a leather jacket on as well to show you how I probably would wear it. Um, and I just pop some gold jewelry on but I just think this is such a good staple to have in your wardrobe. You can wear this in the summer, but I also think it looks great in the autumn as I am styling it now. Also with some Converse or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like it. It's a really good basic. It's nice and thick, so it's not see-through or like flimsy. It sits like it's got quite good structure to it, but at the same time, it's not like too thick that you'd be hot in it. So then this is how I would style it with the leather jacket on. I just think this is such a great look for transitional weather when you still wanna get your legs out, but you wanna be a little bit covered up and yeah, I think it's really cool. This would also be a really cool festival look as well if you are going to any festivals, but yeah, I really like it and I love the little cutout because I think that kind of breaks up the whole black like look here. So this next dress is a really good example of how to make your summery dresses into dresses that you can wear through the autumn as well. So firstly, it's this gorgeous tie-dye dress. I love the colors on this. It's kind of like a burnt orange color. I love the lace on there. I feel like it's just so pretty and feminine. The lace also carries on up here. It's got adjustable straps as well. So this is like the most beautiful summer's dress, I think. Actually, hang on, let me take off the belt and show you it like that. Okay, so it's a little bit creased from where I just had the belt there. But I think this is such a gorgeous one for like a summer holiday or just a beautiful summer's day. But then when I add the belt and the dark accessories, I think you can really easily wear it into the autumn as well. So give me one sec. So then with the all black accessories, it becomes much more of like an autumnal look. So I have the black belt, black boots and the black leather jacket. And I just think this is such a cool look. Maybe for like, if you're going like day drinking or something, you want something comfy, but still nice, but still warm. This would be a really, really good option or just sort of like head into the shops or something like that. But yeah, I really like it. I think it's really, really cool. And I know I'm gonna get loads of wear out of this dress as we go into the spring and summer as well, because it's such a beautiful one to wear with like sandals. But then obviously, as you can see, you can also make it that little bit kind of grungier and kind of like make a very kind of beautiful feminine dress that little bit more kind of cool and edgy. So lastly, I have this black bodysuit on. So free people are really, really good for basic. So, you know, bodysuits, crop tops, bralettes, all little bits and bobs like that, loungewear as well. But yeah, I have this black bodysuit and firstly, it is so comfortable. And I think that is so important with a bodysuit because there's nothing worse than a bodysuit that really like rides up and it's just really uncomfy and you can just feel it. And honestly, feel like I'm not wearing anything. It's so soft, it feels like a second skin. Uh, and it has this like really nice kind of slight V kind of scoop neck here. And then obviously I've got jeans on, but it's quite high rise, which I think is really, really flattering as well. And it means that you haven't got like any VPL or anything like that. It's got a little um, kind of support thing inside here, so you don't have to wear a bra. It's actually like double lined with a little bit of support as well. So that is obviously a nice touch. These are just the best to throw on underneath things, like whether you're wearing it maybe underneath a blazer or something like that, or like a nice oversized shirt or something. They're just a great one to have. And it also has a really nice back as well. I'll show you the back. This is literally so hard to show you, but hopefully you can see it's kind of like a scoop back as well, which I think is so nice. But yeah, I definitely would recommend checking out Free People for basics as well, um, but also obviously all of their beautiful dresses and all their other pieces too. I will link everything in the description box below so you can go and check it out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing this little Free People haul. I really enjoyed doing it. Like I said, I love Free People. I have for ages, so it's really fun to work with them on this section of the video. 
And then I also got this little bralette from Free People. So this is just absolutely stunning. I don't have a video of me wearing this because I just feel like that might be a little bit too much to show on the internet. But yeah, I love bralettes so much because they're just so comfy. Like I hate wearing a proper bra anymore because I just find them really uncomfortable. And Free People have got such a good selection of uh, bralettes, really nice comfy, like kind of jersey ones or ones that are like a little bit prettier, like this gorgeous pink lace one. I got this in a size small and I'm pretty sure they did this in other colors as well but I think this just looks so nice you know if you're wearing a shirt or something and you can like slightly see the bralette um, or a bodysuit or something like that then this is such a good one for that so yeah I got that as well so absolutely everything that I just featured will be linked in the description box below so hopefully you enjoyed that and thank you to free people for sponsoring that section of the video so as I said today I have a real organizing day so it's Saturday it is half past 11 I've done a workout this morning so I'm feeling like pumped <laughs> I'm feeling like proud of myself for getting that in um and I just have so much to do I'm going down to London next week so I just need to do loads of organizing before that um I've got so much washing to do <laughs> so much washing to put away tidying to do I'm going to do a little bit of a wardrobe sort out this is getting quite ambitious but you know we'll see um and then I've also got a lot of editing to do as well so I just thought I'd bring you along with me for that it's actually such a nice day today I don't know how warm it is but it's beautiful and sunny I'll show you my outfit really quickly I just have this like oversized sweatshirt on and then some cycling shorts I love these kind of outfits in this weather because I feel like you know with the transitional weather it can be hard to know what to wear so yeah I like these kind of looks so I think I'm gonna get on first and sort out the washing I need to hang some washing out on the line I also need to go and do some clothes returns all of that stuff so yeah you can come along with me for a day of organizing hopefully I feel like I actually said this in my last video and I was like yeah I'm gonna be really organized today I'm gonna to clear out every single day this month blah, blah blah and then I just was like a massive flop and I was like mm, no so yeah <laughs> we'll see we'll see how we get on but yeah let's go these are the two big piles of washing that I need to put away it's all clean although it's not particularly folded, but it is all clean, but I just need to put it away, which does anyone else just have a constant pile of washing just sat around that they need to put away? Because, yeah, I do all the time. <laughs> fresh washing on the line I just find it so like nostalgic oh. <laughs> I find it really nostalgic from like when I was younger I don't know why but I love it okay so the next task which I'm a little bit ashamed about is this situation <laughs> so basically my rail fell down just because I think the weight of like all the jeans and stuff is just too heavy on it fell down I literally just ignored it for like three days and now I've realized that I need to do something about it so I need to have a big clear out to be honest because nobody needs this many pairs of jeans there's a lot of them that don't fit me in there but I just feel like doing the jean clear out is just so <laughs> unenjoyable I hate it I just think trying on jeans is just the worst so anyway I'm finally gonna get on with it now and then hopefully I can put some of these back on because at the minute I can't like access any of this because obviously this is just all on top of it so yeah, that is my task for now. Okay, so first things first is the bag. So I am going to sell a couple of bits, but I'm also going to give some to charity. So I've got a bag here that I'm gonna use for charity, and then I've got another bag over there, which I'm gonna use for selling. So yeah, that is the key to a good wardrobe clear out is to get organized before, get your bags ready to go, and Let's go. <laughs> try them on but I just feel like if a pair of jeans is uncomfortable you're probably not going to wear it but we'll see we'll see I mean I always try and make this skirt work but it just never works but maybe this will be the year I really want to make slip skirts work 
Mm. You're going in the maybe pile too. Oh yeah, no, I like these jeans. I keep you. But you know what? I never wear them anymore. And I feel like they would be good as like workwear trousers for someone else. They're the Zara ones. Oh, but then I think, well, maybe I will wear them. You can go maybe. <laughs> I feel like maybe it's just like me like procrastinating actually making the decision, but anyway. I feel like some of these don't fit me. What are these? Oh no, these are my trusty mom jeans. I'm gonna keep you. I don't think you fit me anymore. So I think you're gonna go in the cell pile. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I'm at. It probably doesn't look like I've actually cleared out that many pairs. This is all like shorts and skirts and stuff. But over here is the pile that I've cleared out. These are some that I'm gonna try on and that is a pair that I'm gonna sell. And I just have like loads of hangers now. Hello, gorgeous boy. Hello, hello. But I feel like I'm on a, bit, a little bit of a roll, so I think I'm gonna tackle this section as well now. <laughs> Okay, I really didn't do very well there at all. I think I got rid of like one thing, but to be honest, like most of it is blazers and they are just such a staple for me. I have them in like every single color, as you can see. A couple of leather jackets. So I got one leather jacket and two leather blazers, which I also wear loads. Um, one denim jacket, one denim shirt and one denim waistcoat. Probably don't really need that many. And these are mostly just like dog walking things. And then these are like just white shirts, black shirts, striped shirts. These like going out tops, which I don't really wear that much, but then I don't really go out that much, so you know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that for now and just see how we get on. Trying to decide if I wanna keep this or not. Hmm. Mm, I think I'll keep it. Okay, so I have a big pile of clothes here that I'm gonna take to the charity shop and then the stuff I need to sort out. Okay, me just sorting out my jeans has turned into an actual whole wardrobe sort out. <laughs> I feel like this always happens and now I'm regretting it. So I've just gone through this little section of the wardrobe here, just like t-shirts and stuff. Nobody needs that many black and white t-shirts, I'm aware, but I wear them loads and like when they're in the wash and all stuff like that. So yeah. And at the minute I'm just going through some of these hoodies and jumpers because I don't need that many. Okay, I'm at the stage where I am regretting starting this, especially because the weather today is something else. Like, I'm not gonna show you outside my house, but look how sunny it is. So typical that I'm in here doing this, but gotta get it done. Okay, so now I just need to do a little bit of filming. Um, so I am going to rearrange the lounge, which is what I always do because this is the room that gets the most light and it's just like the nicest room to film in. So yeah, I need to rearrange the lounge, which I absolutely hate doing this hash, like drag the sofa up, drag the coffee table, all of this. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. And then this becomes my filming background. You would have seen it earlier when I showed you the free people pieces. But yeah, it works pretty well. It's not too much of a faff moving everything around. So I'm just gonna film a couple of bits now and then I will come back and chat to you. First though, I have some more washing to put out. Put my crocs on these are literally the best shoes ever <laughs> and go put this out it is such a gorgeous day and look at my hydrangeas they are still going so strong some of them are sort of starting to turn color but oh love it honestly 
so nice and warm out there and Sam's currently out for lunch um, with his mum and they're gonna like get some drinks and stuff and I'm massively getting FOMO so I think I'm gonna do this filming and then I might just go out for a quick drink, um, a little bite to eat and then I'll come back and get back on with the organisation, I promise. <laughs> the sunny weather, just proper like, I find it so difficult to be productive when it's sunny because I just want to sit outside, but yeah. <laughs> So the um, sun got the better of me and I've come out for some lunch. So I'm gonna meet Sam and his mum. I'm gonna have a pizza. Morning kisses, that's nice. Morning kisses for the vlog. That's nice. Swan's come to join us for a morning cuddle. <laughs> this is an old toy in his mouth, so he just continues to carry. Good morning guys, so it is Sunday and I've just spent the morning editing so I just finished off a vlog which is going to go live uh, next week and I'm just about to get up and make some brekkie. So for brekkie I've gone for porridge with raspberries and some little chocolate chips and I'm going to sit and eat outside because it's such a nice day. This one's having a little sunbathe this morning. Also we have more washing on the line which I am thrilled about i feel like all i've done this weekend is washing but i had so much to do i just left it and left it and left it so yeah i'm just gonna jump in the shower now and get ready for the day i don't actually think i have shown you my face this morning so hello good morning sorry i didn't finish the vlog off properly yesterday story of my life i went for pizza had a couple drinks got a bit distracted didn't finish the vlog but anyway i've had a really productive morning i've done loads of work loads of editing done more washing done some tidying up around the house just had a shower done my skincare i'm really struggling i think i said this in my last vlog actually or a little while back i'm really struggling with eczema around my eyes so i've just popped a little bit of cream on there and hoping that's going to help it um but yeah and i'm just going to get ready for the day now so i think we are just going to go for a walk with raf and um go for a roast dinner I feel like all I do is eat out at the minute, guys. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like that with like obviously lockdown lifting and stuff like that? Like, I just feel like there's so many occasions to go out for dinner for lunch and I'm, yeah, it's, it needs to stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I just need to have a bit of an organization tonight. I need to write my to-do list for the week, which I love doing on a Sunday. But I actually think I'm gonna film a little Sunday evening like routine get ready for the week ahead with me um which might already be up by the time you watch this video i'm not sure in what order i'm gonna put it up but yeah so if that's up i'll link it down below um 
but yeah i do love a sunday like just for like resetting and getting yourself ready for the week ahead i don't actually think i'm going to put any makeup on today because i just feel like my skin could do with a little bit of a break so i'm just going to leave it like that with a little bit of serum and moisturizer on um i'm gonna put some lip balm on actually um let's put some of the by terry lip balm on I also need to do some wedding admin. I need to get back to the person doing our invite. And I need to get back to our wedding planner, just about like potential dates that I can come over um, to try the menus and go to the florist and everything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that today as well. So guys, I am actually gonna finish this vlog off here and start a Sunday evening one, as I said. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description box down below for all of the free people picks that I picked up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.